Hey guys, crew Lano back. I'm Rick. I'm Maggie. And we are here with the finale, I do believe, of season four. It's been a long road, hasn't it? So much work. None of it was ours. <laughs> but man, I felt winded after that last episode. We rooted them on. Oh man. Which was key. Uh yeah. We uh we took it home. 32 to 30, I believe was the final score. And now we get to see the aftermath. And could uh, maybe sneak peek, sneak peek as to what's next. Oh my gosh. I have a note from the editor to read after we're done reacting. So I don't know what that entails. Oh, it's probably I just think. like all the things we've been mispronouncing. It could be. I um, I, I do, I think I know what's happening to the Haikyuu series after this, but maybe that's in the notes, so I'm going to save it till afterwards. Okay. All right. Well, are you ready for the last episode of the season? Yes, but also I like don't want it to end. It's all right. We can always watch it again. <gasps> yeah. Can we read our note? Okay. Before we do anything else. So the remainder of Haikyuu adaptation is being told in a pair of movies. The first being released in February of this year in Japan, titled Haikyuu the Movie Battle at the Garbage Dump. <sighs> the movie? What day? But I mean, we'll have to wait for the dub, which will be a long time. February? No, That's no, no, like no. a couple weeks. We can learn Japanese. It'll be a long time. <sighs> I got Google Translate on my phone. <laughs> <sighs> How but, long could it take? I mean, hey, at least there's more. You never know with anime. A lot of yeah. times they uh, wait till the end. throw you off a cliff. And um, <laughs> if two movies are adapting the rest, then I wonder if that's just the, like, if the, this tournament's all there is, or uh, how it goes. It probably. I don't know, but I guess we'll see. So there's there's the third round, then there's quarterfinals, semifinals, finals, and then finals. Yep. So there's like four games. Yep. Believably, if we win, like. I imagine if you there's go all the way. Nekoma, and then. I imagine the next two are probably somewhat glossed over until we get to the finals against, is it Fukurodani? Fukurodani. Is that right? Fukurodani? The one with uh, Bokuto? Yeah. And his crew? Owlboy. I imagine they'll be in the finals, but... Blink, blink. Maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> but this season, uh, it ended strong. I did not expect this episode to get me jazzed about seeing a whole nother game immediately. I thought Even like, against Nekoma? Yeah. I thought like, oh like I was really, really looking forward to like, you know, some just like goofy crap and like character stuff and I mean we still like, get that during the games. Yeah, absolutely we do. But it's like also interspersed with, oh, now your heart rate is going to be 120, if you're lucky. I was, I was really looking forward to like, oh, this will be, this will be a calm one. But like by the end of it, I was like, when, next one. I want this next game. They're staring at each other. Just start playing. Well, I think Kita shot up to my favorite character. Yeah. In a very short amount of time. I really liked his backstory. I just, I like his character. I want to see more. Yeah, he's a lot like you. I'm, um, I liked how Atsuma said, like, I'll be setting for you one day. Mm -hmm. I hope, like, Kita is also on that team, whatever that is. That's like all of Japan or the Olympics or pro, wherever that leads. Yeah. I don't know. It's just weird because, like, I, there's, like, a, some part of me that's, like, that'll never happen. Because it's, like, people that are just steady as hell, even if they're, like, their their valuable nature is the fact that they, you know, they may not do, like, the quick twin magic type stuff. It's, like, I don't know. It just, just in life, it seems like they're not rewarded. <laughs> I don't think that's true. And I think it's especially, like, in a in a team sport too yeah there's like room for all kinds you know like, yeah like you need your like your hothead who scores the points and like but you also need your 
calm, collected people who are just solid, just never make mistakes. It's like the whole team is like in a great big pool. And some of the members of the team create waves, and some of them just like act like black holes, just like calming all the waters around them. And you can't like let too much water slosh out, but you also want to like be able to soak the other team. So it's like you have to have this very careful combination of like the calm spots and then like the very splashy people. <laughs> and it's like you couldn't have. The splashy people, unless you had all of those calm spots. But the camera doesn't love them. <laughs> that was really cute, seeing them on TV and like seeing them like getting to rewatch it and like see themselves through the camera. That's hilarious. Yeah, between that and um, like the three boys, the seniors talking on the balcony, it's like trying to piece the team together for next year, you know? Like Tanaka might be. Like the ace? I don't know. Yeah, like, who would you click for captain? I thought we had that nailed down I, before. Idoshita. Yeah, probably Idoshita. It's possible. I don't know. But I could also see a Tanaka. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if he's, like, I think he's. Enough. I think he's tapping into that resilience. Maybe if he gets together with that girl and he calms down a little. Maybe then. Uh, I, I don't think hip... That, that's the unhealthy way of putting it. Because you should never get with someone because you're like, I can change them. I can make them better. It's like, <laughs> you, you, you don't want like, oh, I hope, I hope this crazy kid starts dating this calm girl so that she could fix him. It's like, no. You say, we hope that Tanaka becomes the man that she would date. That's the healthier way of going about it. It's also not what I meant. You think he just, you know, too much testosterone? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, like, thinking about what that next team is, maybe it's a blessing that the series ends before we have to see that, you know? <gasps> the team that wins against us? No, I mean, like, next year, when oh, yeah. Suga and... Yeah, it's kind of like... All of them are gone. Are, are they their best... Are they their most... Well, as, like, taking a step back, it's mm -hmm. like, are those characters their best versions when they are at the top of their game or when they're still climbing the mountain? The, the characters, the boys in, on the team. Oh. It's like Tobio and Hinata and stuff. Mm-hmm. Are they their most entertaining versions while they are, like, first year, they're green, they're still learning? Or when they're, like, you know, a self-assured second years with, like, experience they've already been through one... I mean, I think... They've um, got the respect. I think a series like Hajime no Ippo shows that it can all work. Like... You just have to make the next mountain just, like, equally as big as the first one. Yeah, just I mean, like, there's always more mountains to climb it just dwarfs in professional the next sports. One. <laughs> like... Or j just in sports in general. Yeah. yeah like, e even if they win this, there's still still more things to climb. I think they're on an intrinsic level. I know deep down sports don't appeal to me for that reason. Because winning for Hinata means he gets to play more. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, when I think about, like, playing a game and doing my absolute best, it's so that the game is over. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but that's just, you've never played a game you love. Apparently. <laughs> but it's so, like, it still makes me happy and impressed and, like... But, like, you felt it in, like, Towerfall before, right? Yeah, that's what, that was the one thing where I because was like, it, yeah. man, like, that's the one thing that I was thinking, like, oh, I wish I could just win so I could keep playing. Yeah. Because, like, you feel that, you it's, it's like you're grasping at this, like, the edge of the tide going out, and it's like your fingers can just feel the sea foam where it's like if you just grab a hold of that, you'd be, like, your mind and your fingers would just be perfectly in tune, and you'd just be freaking headshotting you with a drill arrow across the whole stage. It'd be hilarious. Towerfall is a 2D four-player, like, arena shooter. Um, uh, couch co-op, or a couch... 
Yeah, multiplayer. Church multiplayer, yeah. Which we would play a lot. And if there's more than four people, if you're in last place or second to last place, then you sit out and someone else comes in. Yeah. But if you're... Um, I don't know what that's like. But... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but I'm sure it's unfortunate. There does get to be a point where someone just declares, everybody kill Rick. And it becomes 3v1. Or if we're doing team-based, Calvin and Adam will just declare, Dream Team! <laughs> and then one of them will kill the other, and then the one that, you know, kills the other miraculously can kill the other two enemies. Which is hilarious. But I wonder, these movies, like, are they going to be theatrical? Or are they going to get significant more budget? Like... It's like, how could you improve? Uh, I wonder what the reason for it is. And if the um, if the manga is ending, because like normally what happens, it's not so it much the case the anymore. But yeah, like the anime exists to push sales of the manga. And if the manga is no longer running, then a lot of times you don't get last seasons or last arcs of anime because there's no more manga to push. So there's no reason to make more anime. That is horrible. So, um... Should be a law. <laughs> it's like, if you start it, you gotta finish it. So I wonder if that, like... If we're getting just something that costs less and there's less of in order to just give a conclusion to it. Or if it's, um... If it's a scenario where it's more and they're trying to make money by selling the movie. And, like, ticket sales and stuff like that. I don't know how they, like financially compare to like the investment versus return of the two formats everything else being equal like equal interest equal buying power of the series and such i i don't know like how how big the difference is i feel like the animation quality the voice acting quality like all that stuff we see is pretty doggone good like there's not really much i would say oh man i wish they could just you know do that bit or work on that or why did they you know 3d render those cars <laughs> don't you talk shit about initial d oh it's just so pretty when it's drawn ah <laughs> <sighs> no i agree but um but yeah I, i'm curious as to like the reasoning and what that's going to mean for us because like this is a tremendous anime like it's s tier in it's our fantastic rankings and um I don't think you like, have to love sports to love this show. Anytime I look at top like sports anime, this is up there in those lists. It's pre sometimes on like top anime list as well. So yeah. I think it definitely deserves a nice conclusion and hopefully Absolutely. Hopefully it gets one. Yeah. And like <sighs> I know Hike you might not be as like talked about as like there's a lot more people that know about like One Piece or Demon Slayer. It's like there's a lot more like more popular animes, I feel. At least here in America, like I, you see their stuff around a lot more. Well, yeah. But like Haikyuu, wh what makes it so special is that it's not only an important anime that like I love and is important to me, but it is also incredibly accessible for I could tell anybody you should watch this. It's fantastic. You will love it. Because there's there's some things where it's like, ah, I can't tell anybody to watch that because they might not like it. Sure. Because <laughs> like there can be, you know, preferences involved. But I feel like Haikyuu kind of transcends such things. I mean, there's a reason sports are so popular, right? Like people just, a lot of people identify with those and this is that but scripted and you get to know the characters and there's amazing music yeah like it's just it's got the whole package that was the that last song that they played that was like the the music video thing that was from earlier in the series right it's tough for me to remember because i listened to it all yeah but i i don't think so i think that's um as soon as it started playing, I started seeing, like, other images in my head from, like, walking down the street and such. I honestly can't remember. So I think it was a, one of the other OPs, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> or closing songs. I'm... I love that Gramps, not Gramps, but old Coach Yukai was throwing, like, praise shade. 
on our coach Yukai, where it's like, good thing you suck at volleyball so much because oh you're a natural gosh. at coaching. <laughs> like, oh, so harsh. Oh. <laughs> Do you think old coach Yukai will come? Maybe that's why they need to make the movie, because he's actually going to appear. Yeah, it could be. He's like, I won't come out for anything less than yeah, a he, movie. He won't do TV. <laughs> Only theatrical credits. <laughs> but this is fun seeing, like, seeing the exceptions to the rule and seeing the other players that are so much like Hinata. <laughs> like the ones that just, like, deep down, they just love playing. Yeah. And Hinata just growing by leaps and bounds. Oh, amazingly so. This season, for sure. It's like Kageyama was like at much higher level than him initially. Yes. Had to catch up to like Hinata's abilities socially, perhaps. But he was, you know, he was a better player. He's much more well rounded. He's so much more experienced. He's still a better player. Yeah, he's still a better player. <laughs> but like right at the end there, where both their hands are touched, like right at the minute, it's like you get that glimpse of what, what, what was that? Oh my gosh. Are they equals, you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh. And it's like they're they're their they're their own greatest enemies. <laughs> it's like tell me, nope, still didn't see it. Amazing. Even after they were so exhausted, they still had time to fight. Do you or think energy to fight? Yeah. Do you think at any point during this whole inter high championship thing? Do you think Toby will ever see one of his blocks, you know, purposefully? Ever admit to it, at least. Do you see, did you see that receives? He's like, never. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> well, at some point, the dub of Haikyuu will be back, and... We will watch it. When it does come, then there will be more reactions here on the channel, so... Alright, we'll see you then. Thanks guys, that's gonna do it for us for now for High Q, but there will be movies coming in the future, so make sure that you are subscribing so that you can check that out as they come. And uh, thanks so much for joining us. This was a lot of fun. Love this show. Can't wait to watch more. Yeah. We'll see you guys later. Bye.